So uh, yeah, since I've been working with Google and like working at Google is a dream uh, that like many many developers have seen mm-hmm. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, of course, has and like including many me. other developers <laughs> exactly including him and like many 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 other developers out there that have they've, they've always seen the dream of working at the Silicon Valley or like for Google. So could you share some insights or like some tips and tricks on how they can actually uh, make this dream come true? Yeah, so I could totally do that. The first thing I tell people is that you need to give yourself some time. And I just mean you need to be patient because it's going to take you some time to start to practice the types of questions that you will have to answer. It'll take some time for you to get good at solving algorithms in a good speed because so let's say if you get an interview question, you know, you really want to try to have a solution working pretty quickly like a brute force solution. But there's like a, a technique to this whole thing because people will say, "Oh, I have a uh algorithm problem. Let me go for the fastest, most efficient mm-hmm. first." And that's actually not the way to do it. I would say get something working first. Make sure you un- so I'll say get something working. And then when you first get the question, because this is the hardest part. I'll be honest with you, that's the hardest part is when you get the questions. Um, I tell people, you know, first make sure you've asked what I like to call clarifying questions. Mm-hmm. So I want you to ask, so if I give you a question say, well, you know, uh, I want to know how many cars are going to, you know, go around this track at the same time in a 10 minute interval. And, and so if I tell you that, then you might say, okay, you might start writing code, but mm-hmm. you don't know any details. So yeah. first ask all the questions to make sure that you understand the problem. and when you so that has to be like a built in practice because developers do this thing where we go we jump, jump right in into yeah. the problem without even thinking about it that has to become your pre process where you ask clarifying questions make sure you understand what's being asked of you make sure you understand the parameters so maybe you could say well will any cars be going backwards right try to even think to ask that or will any cars not be moving will any cars have zero velocity right is its acceleration yeah. the same for all cars right so you have to ask questions like that because then that could really open up the solution for you because it's not really meant to trick you with these questions it's meant to see how you think and how you solve problems so that's the first yeah. thing i tell people so it's half time think about the clarifying questions and practice 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 those those, yeah. those are my my main tips that's great that's great so like basically define all the use cases before you start to code mm-hmm. just like make everything clear yes yeah i mean uh, and, and in any real world scenario i mean uh, that is exactly a, uh, any person would think but it, it's just that when people come to coding and uh, they just try to you know just jump into it but in, in the real world if someone tells you to meet me at mcdonalds people would first ask well which mcdonald there are five mcdonalds right. in my area and uh, which one is open after right. 12 Exactly. So people, so, yeah. uh, people think those questions in the real life, and they, uh, and I, I totally agree. We need to think those in the coder, coder life as well. We can say.